Titration Curves A strong base, sodium hydroxide, is used to obtain the titration curves of a strong acid and a weak acid. These curves will be used to obtain the initial concentrations of both acids as well as the pKa of the weak acid. Record the concentration of the standard sodium hydroxide solution. Transfer some of the sodium hydroxide from the main source into a clean, dry, medium-sized beaker. Prepare the burette as demonstrated in another video. Transfer some of the hydrochloric acid from the main source into a clean, dry, medium-sized beaker. Prepare a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette as demonstrated in another video. Measure 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and transfer it into a clean 250 milliliter beaker. Add approximately 150 milliliters of distilled water to the beaker, then set it aside. Be sure to use the appropriate tap. You now have to set up Logger Pro. Make sure the pH sensor is attached to the LabQuest Mini interface with the green LED light on. Open the Logger Pro program and select the desired file for the experiment. If prompted, make sure the selected sensor is pH and click Connect. To calibrate the pH sensor, rinse the pH sensor with distilled water. Do not collect the rinsings in the distilled water beaker. Instead, the rinsings should be collected in a waste beaker. Wipe the pH sensor with a Kim wipe. Carefully insert the pH sensor into the pH 4 buffer solution, allowing about 2 cm clearance above the bottom of the beaker. Click on Experiment, choose Calibrate, then click on the LabQuest Mini 1 CH1 pH tab. Click on the Calibrate Now. The pH value in the box is not active while calibrating the sensor. Wait for 10 seconds, then set value 1 to 4.0. Click on Keep. Rinse the pH sensor with distilled water. Carefully insert the pH sensor into the pH 7 buffer solution. Set reading 2 to 7.0. Click on Keep, then click on Done.
Place the beaker of acid solution previously prepared onto a stir plate. Lower the burette so that the tip is at the top of the beaker. This is to minimize any splashing. Add a magnetic stir bar to the beaker and stir the solution. Ensure the stir bar is spinning fast enough to mix the entire solution, but not to a point where it's splashing. Carefully insert the pH sensor into the acid solution. Click on Collect. Once the pH reading on the status bar has stabilized, click on Keep and enter the volume of sodium hydroxide added in the entry box. You should always rate the value you read on the burette. It should start from 0.00 and increase to 50.00 milliliters. When you want to record a pH reading, click on Keep and enter the number read on the burette which is the total volume of sodium hydroxide added. When a pH value changes rapidly, add the sodium hydroxide dropwise. Continue your titration until a pH value of 12 has been reached. Then click on Stop. Rinse off the pH sensor with distilled water and immerse its tip in the water solution. Repeat the titration by replacing hydrochloric acid with an unknown weak acid. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment.